guys, before we get started with this video, I would just like to say, if you're enjoying my content, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and give that notification bell a big ol' smack for me. It helps the channel out a lot. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Hello everyone, and welcome back. Seriously, why do you always do this? You always have to wait until I'm just starting recording to give me notifications. Seriously. I, I swear, you literally do wait. You wait. For me to do this anyway welcome back to another video so about a year and a half ago i made a video where i trolled cafe groups on twitter i i have not seen any other trolling youtuber or any youtuber for that matter do something like that before so i figured it was an interesting idea and i thought hey you know it's been a solid year and a half since i've done that why not do it again right and also you know it's always good to do new things that are different you know, it's, that's always a good thing. So, I last night tweeted a bunch of stupid tweets to uh, quite a few different games. That was a great voice crack I did right there. Anyway, enough stalling. Let's jump straight into this. Oh, and before we get started, I just want to remind everybody that we are getting very close to 25,000 subscribers. So, if you have not done so already, hit that subscribe button! I'm not gonna stop hurting my hand until you subscribe. So, for my sake, subscribe! Ow! <laughs> so, seriously, subscribe, or else I'm gonna literally break my hand. Anyways, let's get on to this. I hope this doesn't start bleeding. Cafe games like at Frappe Roblox and at Boba Corporation, when you don't order properly by not saying please. Oh, yeah! You know, guys, I think we just gotta learn better manners, you know? I mean, maybe we should start thinking about this. Maybe they're doing that because they want us to learn PROPER manners. So that when, when we go out into the real world, we'll know how to say please and thank you and things like that so that we're not rude people, you know? Maybe this is like a secret, like... I can't think of the word, but it's a secret thing they're doing to make us more polite. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Definitely. Anyone have any plans for the weekend? Co-house is to go out with Tsunami Sushi. Maybe I could try dancing on some tables at your restaurant. How's that sound? And the person on the bottom's encouraging me. Do it. I feel like that's secretly Palpatine telling me to do it. You know what I honestly should have said instead of that? Now that I'm just like looking at this now, I should have said, you're going out with Tsunami Sushi? STOP ONLINE DATING! STOP ONLINE DATING! Or something like, uh, Kohau and Tsunami Sushi are, like, official? Or, or something along those lines? That, that would have been way better. Dang it, Barney, you missed a great opportunity for an awesome joke, and you suck. You suck, Barney. You're bad at your job. And here's Soros tweeting out, Alliance visit from Koala Cafe. Thank you to Koala for being an active and supportive partner. We look to host many events with you in the future. Thanks for the visit. And you see a screenshot of them taking a screenshot, basically. There's not much more to say. Wow, such an amazing partnership. It'd be a real shame if Koala Cafe found out that Soros has koala meat on their secret menu. Koala Cafe responds, WHAT?! Bleah! And like, vomiting emojis. And then Soros responds, THESE ACCUSATIONS ARE INTENSE! WE LOVE KOALA CAFE! HOW DARE YOU! <laughs> I have a sneaking suspicion that they may not have appreciated that response. <laughs> just, just a sneaking suspicion. And then Koala Cafe responds with a heart, OH NO. Soros has deceived them. They've deceived them, guys! They're, they're just submitting. They're submitting. They're just gonna sit there and turn a blind eye to it. Soros is gonna keep koala meat on their secret menu, and Koala Cafe either has been fooled into thinking that they don't, or they just don't care. Maybe Koala Cafe secretly isn't all that fond of koalas. Oh, it was a big conspiracy all along. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I freaking knew it. 
and you guys called me crazy. And here's Koala Cafe with a tweet of their own. Recently, a few of our mid-ranks went to an alliance, Bloxton Hotel. They were very nice and welcoming. See you again soon! And another screenshot. I heard Bloxton Hotel is also allied with a local slaughterhouse that makes ground koala. Thought you might want to be aware of this. This only adds fuel to the fire, guys. Of course Koala Cafe would ally themselves with a group that's allied with a freaking slaughterhouse that makes ground koala. That just adds more evidence to my theory that Koala Cafe secretly hates koalas and eats them. It's not just trolls making jokes anymore. This is a real case now. It's a real case. You've been exposed today, Koala Cafe. Consider your restaurant doomed. <laughs> Wait, why am I doing the evil laugh? They're the ones who hate koalas. That's about as evil as it gets. Here's Teethy's dentist saying, Congratulations to our owner on receiving the Valiant items. I apologize if I am not pronouncing that right. Now that's where I got a little sus. On the account's bio, you can see that it says owned by Gamer Dist. Again, if I'm not pronouncing that right, I apologize. And on Gamer Dist's profile, you can see creator of Teethy's Dentist. This tweet is the equivalent of patting yourself on the back, isn't it? I mean, pretty much the guy tweeted out on his personal account his accomplishment, and then congratulated himself on the company Twitter account. I'm not saying he's, like, bad for doing that. It's just an observation I'm making here. The guy just basically congratulated himself. <laughs> That's essentially what happened here. Business owners of Roblox says, We should tweet more. I don't even know what that emoji is. I responded, yes, so I can reply to them with stupid things like this. Patrick, you filthy communist, it's time to pay for your sins. <laughs> yes, please tweet more, business owners of Roblox, so that we, the trolls, can flood your responses with troll responses. Who would have guessed? Tsunami Sushi tweeted out, Congratulations to Teethy's Dentist for reaching 500,000. Let's all get braces to celebrate. Teethy's responds, Thank you. I assume sushi is on you tonight? Tsunami Sushi replies, A lifetime supply of sushi is on us. I decide to jump in on this conversation, even though I was not invited, saying, And that is how Teethy's Dentist and Tsunami Sushi made fish become extinct. Hey guys, you ever, ever, like, wondered why there's problems in our oceans? This is why. Because Tsunami Sushi literally is giving out lifetime supplies of sushi to people. That's why. That's why this is happening. So, you guys can all blame Tsunami Sushi, alright? It's all on them. As they say. It's on us. Boba Cafe tweeted out, slay what you, I have no idea what this is. Slay what you want to slay and let the slay slout. Slay, oh, I'm going to assume this is some kind of, like, song. Like, I'm not really up to date on songs of this generation. So, boomer moment, I know. So, I don't know what this is, but I can at least deduce that this is probably lyrics to some kind of song. And that is how Boba Cafe got charged on several accounts of cold-blooded murder. I mean, you're literally talking about slaying, dude. You're talking about slaying. Even talking about sisters and misters. Those are people, man. Those are people, and you're talking about slaying them. You're giving out death threats. We need to... We need to deal with this. We need to deal with this immediately. Boba Cafe is giving out death threats on Twitter. Exposed. <laughs> Exposed. The owner of Venti tweets out, Charmin Ultra Soft over all else. I respond, plot twist, it's not even soft. I actually have no idea if it's soft or not. I don't really take notice to different brands of toilet paper, dude. I I, I don't pay attention to that. I just go on the toilet, take a dump, wipe, and be done with- Well, and wash my hands, of course, and THEN be done with it after that. I... yeah, I don't want to share anything else about my bathroom adventures. And Teethy's tweets out, We've reached a huge milestone! 500,000 members! Since I joined the group back in 2016, 2017, I never would have thought that we would hit this milestone. 
Thank you to everyone for all the hard work that everyone puts into this group. You said everyone twice. A Twitter account joined the group? Huh. Technology must be advancing faster than I thought. That's amazing. That a Twitter account, a non-sentient thing, has managed to join a Roblox group. That's both amazing and scary at the same time. What else can these Twitter accounts do? You would think that they would need to have an owner to run these accounts in order to function, but no, they're just functioning on their own and joining Roblox groups. How many people that I've met on Roblox in the past few days have secretly been just Twitter accounts going rogue, going against their owners and just doing what they want? Oh my gosh. This is... This is... I don't even know what to say. This is... This is dangerous. Like, I think we need to get... We need to get, like, the army. We, we gotta get the SWAT team. We gotta get the Coast Guard. We gotta get the Cyber Police. That's who we need. We need the Cyber Police. That's... That's exactly who we need. You know what? I'm getting them right now. Where's my phone? I need to call them. This is... This is unacceptable. I will not tolerate this. This is not okay. Alright, here's my phone. Oh, gosh. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Amazing! You know, technologically speaking, but terrible for the sake of the world. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. All right. Yes, hello? Yes, my name is uh, Barney Hunter 12 I am a trolling YouTuber, and... They just hung up on me. As soon as I mentioned that I'm a trolling YouTuber, they just hung up on me. Why would they do that? You got something against trolling YouTubers there, cyber police? Whatever, you know what? If they don't want to do something about it, then they're just going to have to suffer the consequences of it in the future. That's on them! That's on them! I tried to warn you, so if you all suffer and die because of this, just know that I tried. I tried, okay? Gosh! Nobody ever listens to me! Sorry about that, I kind of had a mental breakdown there. Anyway, let's move on. So, somebody tweeted to Frappe saying, I made this fan art for at Frappe Roblox and decided to call it Frappe Fun Fest. The lady looks like a bumblebee. I mean, if you consider getting stung by an entire hive of bees fun, go for it, I guess. I mean, the lady literally is a bumblebee. She's literally a bumblebee. You can only see her front half. On her backside, she probably has a giant stinger sticking out. I wouldn't be surprised. And the person actually responded saying, it repeatedly stuck into my head repeatedly. Please send 911. I am being stung by a bee! Calls pixelated 911. Also, you said repeatedly twice. <laughs> I don't know what's happened to me. I've all of a sudden become, like, so strict on English and grammar. I, I just can't help myself whenever I see a grammatical mistake to just correct people. I, I can't help it. It's just a... It's a habit. I was gonna call it a tick, but I would say habit's probably a better word because I know that it ticks people off. There we go. I found a way to use the word tick in that sentence. See, that's how good I am in English, guys. I'm very good. No need to worship me. No need to worship me. I know I'm good at my job. Venti Cafe tweeted out, Get ready for the Cafe revamp update dropping this Saturday at, you know, time slots there. There's lots of stuff planned, so be sure to be there! Gasp! Is it happening? Is it finally happening? You're adding bathrooms so we can finally take pixelated dumps after we get poisoned by your drinks? OMG guys, I'm so funny. I am a comedic genius. I am just so fun- There's already toilets in this version, but okay, lol. <laughs> oh, there are? Yes, it was a good joke, Toe. Lol. <laughs> this person says, There is already a bathroom. It's the place where cafe workers make food. <laughs> At first I thought this guy was being serious, like they genuinely had a bathroom in that same place. Then I'm like, wait a minute, he's just making fun of them, I think. I'm like 90% sure of that. I found this group by looking at the accounts that Frappe follows. It's some group called Sweet saying, We've just showcased our newest edition, Boba Shakers. Those things look haunted. Like, seriously, look at that video again. It legit, they look haunted. That doesn't look natural whatsoever. 
Hey guys, before we continue with this video, I would just like to ask that you guys go to the description below and click the link that leads to my second channel. Over there you can find even more kinds of content that I create. You may find something you like, and hey, if it doesn't interest you, you can always hit that unsubscribe button and never go to it again. But please give it a chance, maybe you'll like it. And hey, if you do, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know when I upload over there. But anyways, with that said, let's continue on with this video. Coast Girl tweeted out, They are now out! Showing a picture of some flower hat item. Hi, I'm from the flower legal de- de-, de, de. <laughs> Hi, I'm from the Flower Legal Defense Team. We're here to inform you that you have a court date for September 6th, 2028. We are officially suing you for murdering and wearing innocent flowers on your heads. Then the owner of Coast Grill actually came out on his personal account and said, Oh shoot, I forgot about the vegans. <laughs> Holy crap, that was kind of savage there, man. Just calling out vegans like that. Holy mad girl. Come on, Vominos, you gotta chill out, man. I mean, have you ever seen what happens when you anger a vegan? No offense to vegans or anything, and this is just a joke. Um, have you ever heard of that vegan teacher? You don't want someone like that on your back, okay? So, be a little careful there. Even though I'm literally doing the same thing. Taking a huge risk. Ticking off a vegan. Right now. <laughs> I'm kidding, okay? I'm kidding. I have nothing against vegans. Just putting that out there right now. It was a joke. Okay, me and Vominos are both joking. I think. Kesai tweeted out, Happy Easter, everyone. Be sure to complete our egg hunt before time runs out. And they show a screenshot of a high rank in a bear uniform. Or costume, probably would be the better word. Hey, Kesai, I think you've gotten a bit confused. It's the Easter Bunny, not the Easter Bear. I mean, seriously, tell me right now if any of you have ever heard of the Easter Bear. Like, do you, would you really want a giant bear breaking into your house on the night of Easter? That is a scary thought to think about. A bunny, on the other hand, I mean, unless it's a rabid bunny, I don't think it's gonna cause too much harm. I mean, a bunny, it's a cute little bunny. And you're comparing that to a giant bear that's gonna eat you. Like, that's why there is no Easter bear. It's the Easter bunny, okay? Okay. Kestrel's first layered clothing launch? Yes, please. The lady on the left looks like she spilled blue food coloring on her eyes. May want to get that looked at. No pun intended. Okay, pun totally intended. Because we were talking about how there's stuff in her eyes. Get it looked at. Ha 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 ha! Very funny! I am st I still got it! Yeah! I still got it! Ha 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 ha! I don't know why I have this job. Now this is actually a communist border game that tweeted out, winner of the Papers trailer contest because their game is called Papers Please. I respond saying, Papers trailer contest? You make trailers about pieces of paper? Um, no offense, but that doesn't sound all that exciting. I mean, let's be honest here. A trailer about what? A piece of paper blowing in the wind or something? I mean, it just doesn't sound all that exciting. I mean, unless you're drawing a cool thing on the piece of paper, like a really cool painting, a drawing, or something. I don't know. And for our last one, this is a bonus one. It's not a cafe game. It's my good buddy, Programmer. Got my server home. It's a bit loud. I respond saying, no, it's just being vocal about how it's too hot in the room. I mean, if it's giving off that much noise. I can only imagine it's probably giving off a lot of heat too. You might wanna, I don't know, maybe give it an ice pack or something programmer, or give it a glass of water, or something. It's not healthy to be that hot. Unless we're talking hot in self-esteem. That totally made sense, yeah, still got it. I hate my life. All right, I think that's enough. If you guys happen to enjoy this, please do let me know in the comments below because, you know, this is a different kind of trolling, so I'm not sure how it's going to be received. So if you like seeing me troll on Twitter, 
please do let me know by leaving a like and leaving a comment letting me know because if you guys don't like me doing this then i'm not gonna keep doing it y you know i want to do stuff that you guys enjoy so let me know if you like this and if enough people let me know and leave likes then hey maybe i will do a third video of twitter trolling i did do one before this so make sure to check that one out i will leave a link to it in the description below if you'd like to check it out also in the description is this twitter account where i made all these tweets on so make sure to check that out also my second channel linked in the description below and as always please do not send a hate to anybody featured in this video at the end of the day we're all just doing our jobs i'm doing mine and they're doing theirs and again we are getting close to 25k subscribers so if you have not done so already hit that subscribe button hard hit it hard just demolish that subscribe button get some friends to hit the subscribe button I, whatever you have to do hit that <coughs> sorry hit <coughs> I've been talking for too long. Hit that subscribe button and hit it hard to help us get to 25k subscribers. Anyway, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Tweet, tweet. That was very necessary. Yes. Don't judge me.